In this video, I'm going to make a dessert souffle that's going to have uh, chocolate. Now, in the previous video, I showed kind of the basic principles of, of how to make a, a good souffle, and we talked about how you can improvise to extend that. And I'm going to give a demonstration of that now. Uh, again, I'm going to use uh, three eggs because that's about the, the right size for uh, these two souffle dishes. Now, it's evening and I wanted to have a dessert, so I could put anything in there I wanted. Uh, I decided to go with chocolate because I, I had chocolate around the house, but you could just as well go with, you know, for example, uh, you know, lemon juice and make a, a, a lemon souffle or uh, cinnamon and sugar and have a cinnamon and sugar souffle or vanilla. Uh, but we're gonna go with chocolate. Now, with chocolate, we have a lot of options you could use chocolate. This is just uh, baking chips that are 46% cacao. Uh, and if you decided to use these, you would uh, you know, melt them either with a, a double burner or in the microwave and uh, add those to the, the yolk. Now, because these would have to be melted and warm, you couldn't just dump them in the yolk, but instead you'd have to uh, temper them adding a little bit at a temper, temper the, the egg, adding a little bit of, of uh, chocolate to the yolk at a time to bring it up to temperature so you, you don't cook it. Uh, so that's going to take a little more work. Uh, alternatively, you could use you know, chocolate syrup. Or you know, if you wanted, you could use, well, what else have I got here? I've got, uh, you know, this is a, a cherry syrup. Or I could use you know, honey, or I could use maple syrup. Uh, but these are, are also options. Uh, what I've decided to go with, though, for my dessert is I'm going to use uh, cocoa powder. So this is just unsweetened cocoa powder. And then I put with that uh, sugar. So this is, is one tablespoon of cocoa and one tablespoon of sugar. And and I decided to do that because I'm, I'm really not a fan of extremely sweet desserts. So I wanted to have uh, more of a control over the, the sweetness. So I'm gonna be putting this in, in my yolk mixture. So we're gonna begin by preparing the souffle dishes. And that means, well, actually we're gonna begin by preheating the oven. So I preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's, that's coming up to temperature right now. And now I'm gonna prep the souffle dishes. Uh, I like coconut oil, but it is a warm day in the house and my coconut oil is, is not in a condition to be used. So I'm gonna use uh, this dairy-free uh, margarine from the uh, refrigerator. Okay, so we got some butter in there. Now we're, we're going to put sugar to coat the interior. You know, Previous videos we put in flour because we were making uh, kind of savory leaning souffles. But with a sweet souffle, you can certainly use sugar to coat your sides. And there's lots of other things you could use. I mean, uh, for example, if you're making a breakfast souffle, perhaps you'd put uh, uh, instant potatoes. You get, say, dried instant mashed potatoes. There's one, and this one I'm going to pour out over the uh, the kitchen sink. Okay, so there's a second, and I'll set these aside. But there's, there's lots of options, and as I said, 
you know, salt and sugar seem to be, or flour and sugar seem to be the easiest, uh, but there's certainly room to be creative in, in uh, how you work with this dish. So we're gonna separate our, our whites and uh, yolks now. There's one. That was an ugly opening. I got a little piece of shell to pick out. And here's the third egg. Okay, there's the third. Okay. So again, we're going to begin with our, our yolk. And so yolk mixture, and we're going to add to that, just as we did in the last video, one half teaspoon of flour, and then we're going to add two teaspoons of water to start out with. So that's two teaspoons of water. And then we'll add our cocoa and sugar. And I'm also gonna throw in just, just a couple drips, maybe a fourth of a teaspoon of, finish this off, fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla. And now, let's see what comes out of this. Remember, we want to stir this enough to activate the, the uh, gluten. Get all the sugar and cocoa in there. Stove is up to temperature now, or oven. Look at that, that's, that's actually got a decent consistency. Uh, I thought I was gonna have to add more water, but I guess not. Great, okay, now let's move to the whites. So I'm gonna again put just a splash of, of white vinegar in to help with the the process. At this point, uh, because I'm doing a sweet souffle, I'm also going to put a little bit of sugar 
in the whites. So I'm gonna put in just maybe a quarter teaspoon. Sorry, a quarter, quarter of a tablespoon in the whites. And this is gonna give us a nice smooth white. Notice these whites have a kind of a satiny fi finish to them. That's that's uh, what you get with a little bit of sugar in them. There you have it. Just about right. So let's come back to our yolk mixture. That's all still in good shape. I'm going to put again about a third of our whites into the yolk mixture. And give that a stir until we get nice airy yolks. Very nice. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the yolk mixture in the rest of the whites and fold it about 10 to 15 times to get it incorporated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, fourteen gives me what I want. So now I'm gonna fill my ramekins. A lot of extra air this time, looks like, or maybe I got larger eggs than normal. Well, I'm gonna fill this all the way up at the top. See how these guys handle the handle the heat. Okay, those are completely filled. I've got a couple tablespoons extra, so we're gonna put these in the oven for 400 uh, for 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Alexa, dismiss. Well, look at that. Since I'm making this as part of a contest, I'm gonna give it a little garnish. And there you have a chocolate souffle. So let's open it up and see what it's like. Oh yeah, the top is fantastic.
very, very light. Uh, mm, mm, that's very good. That's very good. Let's see. Get down to the interior. Interior is good as well. Uh, not overcooked, just about right. Uh, if you want more uh, chocolate sauce, there's some chocolate sauce in the bottom. If you want more, you probably do with maybe 30 seconds less in the oven. But in general, it's, it's very good. For me, in my taste, it's just about the right combination of, of chocolate and sugar. You know, if you want it sweeter, you can add more sugar. If you want it less sweet, you can put less sugar. You know, these souffles are extremely flexible and, and you can really tailor them to uh, fit your personal taste. So thank you very much for, for uh, your time and um, I hope you enjoy uh, making these at home.